Good morning. Today we are going to continue to see the semi trailer and we are going to see the braking system, which you can see from uh, this drawing. The braking system for the semi trailer. So, whenever the driver hit the braking pedal, then the braking signal is going to the air reserve tank. Then the air reserve tank would give the signal to the air chamber by the air chamber push rod. Then it goes to the slack adjuster. Then the slack adjuster goes to the camo ruler. Then the camo ruler would uh, become wider because the shape is like this. When it's turning to the the other side, it is going to be wider than before. Then the braking shoe and the leaning is going to touch the drum. Then you would have the braking happen for your trailers. We do have a, a reaction time to test our braking system. And we need to make sure our braking is uh, fast to protect the driver and the cargo. Here is a concept line, a concept drawing, to show you how the braking line works. We have a yellow line on the top and a red line at the bottom. And also you can see between those air chambers, we have the red line. What mean of the red color? We write it here, the red color is supply line. The supply line means it is always has air inside, all the time. So we call it the red supply line. The control line, the reason we call it control, it is because when the driver hits the pendle, and then the signal would go from the front to the valve, it is a line to pass the signal. It is not always have pressure. When the signal heads to the valve here, the valve would split all the signals through those rubber holes, the broken holes. It is different than the nylon tube, like the red and the yellow tube. It is uh, shaking all the time, that's why we use nylon. So the nylon signal is giving those signals to the air chambers. The air chambers then push the rod. The camo, the camo shift, then the camo shift give the pop signal to the braking shoes, then you have the braking. Here is a, a testing room picture from one of uh, our valve supplier, Silco. The Silco company is based at the US. They are, this picture would give you an idea how the braking line is. And uh, the braking line, of course, it has many different tubes. You can see, of course, it uh, affected with the tire and also the axle, axle drum. So when you have those testing, you would uh, make sure your braking line is reliable. So back to the drawing, we can see in the front, it is uh, start from the Glad hand coupler in the semi trailer. It's like this. So you connect those glad hand to give the air pressure from your tractor to your trailer. The glad hand looks usually like this. Of course, they have some faster release, uh, which this they uh, developed from the hydraulic system. But this one is most uh, typical and standard glad hand to contact uh, the truck glad hand to have the press air pressure for your semi trailer we were talking about the yellow line like this and red line like this and the rubber hose like this this is uh, what we were talking about this is how it looks like with the connector and the yellow tube in the joint we have uh, those uh, uh, joints like this. We have a street joint and a 3V joint like this. 
we usually use uh, Cooper. And sometimes, if our client requires a uh, price very uh, low, we use steel. The Cooper is better because the Cooper won't have any reaction with the steel. So you can have the better way to do the maintenance. This picture is showing you how the vibes looks like. It looks like a, like a device. The reason we call it Vive, it is because it's having one signal here and split those signal by the different portals to the breaking chamber. So this is another picture of the Vive. The signal goes from here and then split those signals through those portals. You can see a two, number two here. Okay. This is an air braking chamber. It's a double chamber. We have a double chamber and a single chamber in our trailer system. The double chamber has two functions. Here is the double chamber. The one chamber at the bottom and the one chamber at the top. The reason it has double chamber because it needs to have the two functions. One is the service braking. So when you are driving, it breaks. Another is parking brake. So when you're parking, it can break. It's like uh, your hand brake in your small car because it has a huge spring inside. So it gives the power to stop the trailer moving around freely. This is how it looks like uh, on your trailer. So it is basically on your axle and receiving those signals by the rubber hose and give the signals by this uh, rod to the slack adjuster. We call this slack adjuster, like this. This is a slack adjuster. This is a slack adjuster. So the slack adjuster is giving the signal to having the signal from the from the air chamber then give the signal from here to the axle like it's having it's moving back and forth here and so this uh, camel shift would turn from here turn like this would turn like this so it gives uh, the signal to the inside of the drum brakes. This is a picture of a slack adjuster. I really have a question when I started uh, the trailer business uh, after graduated from the university. So what is a slack adjuster? Why we call this slack adjuster? What is slack? What does slack mean? Never heard of this uh, before. I mean, I understand what it's like, but what it really looks like. So what is it? So later I find out, oh, okay. The slack means the, let's change the picture. The slack means the gap here. So whenever it changes, it becomes bigger and smaller. It's because of this. When this moving, so it gives the power to the camel shift, then camel shift turn like the picture shows. Then the S shift part is moving. Then it gives a bigger clearance here. Because here is bigger, so you have the top and the right and the bottom, top and the bottom breaking shoes touching the breaking drum, then you would have the break. That's how it works. Okay, now let's back to the whole system. The whole system of the trailer breaking is at the first one we were seeing, the glad hand coupler and uh, the valve, the air reserve tank, 
Oh, we didn't go many details of air reserve tanks, but we will go later. So the air braking chamber, and then slight adjuster, camo shift. Then we can have uh, examine here. Uh, drone brake inside. Okay, let's back to the air reserve tank. Air reserve tank is a uh, power saving. You can think about it. it's a uh, battery because the trailer braking is using the air pressure, not the electricity. So you can consider it as a battery to give the power to the whole system. So without it, you cannot uh, break it uh, very, very well. So the whole system is quite complicated for you to understand everything. Of course, we can understand, but it would be difficult for us during the production. So we come up with a simple one. It, we call it uh, the braking system drawing. So after we have those drawings, we can uh, simplify. It, oh, okay. So how it should uh, be like this for this trailer? We would uh, go through the same as our engineer arranged. So it's basically like this. Uh, like if you have two axle, like this one axle, two axle, it would have the emergency line. This is emergency line. We call it uh, control line. And also we have the service line. The service line, we call it a supply line. It is red, red all the time. And then we have the air reserve tank here. And then vive, second is vive. And the third is another vive. And the fourth is another vive. Of course, we can consider all the vives the same. It's controlling and five is also vive. And the six, six is the air reserve tank. Sorry, the air braking cham chamber. So that's the whole system of the semi trailer braking. Here is a picture, uh, a part of it, it looks like, because the system is going to the whole trailer. So I cannot find a picture to show you without a frame outside. So I have to show you part by part. Like this is a double chamber, and this is a braking hose. It's made by rubber. You can see the red line here is uh, the supply line. We call it. Uh, it's having the pressure, air pressure, all the time. The blue line. Oh, it's not uh, yellow. Why it's not yellow? Because the American system is using the blue color, like the yellow color, as most other countries do. Here is the braking uh, drum. Okay, so this is a uh, spring, and uh, this is uh, a braking drum, and this is a. Uh, uh, axle, so this is part of it. Let's change the angle. Okay, here is another angle. You can see the air reserve tank on the top to having the pressure by those uh, hoses to the air chamber. Right. So the air reserve tank, it is quite dangerous, like uh, the battery. So you need to be careful. So if you have a trailer, and uh, you need to maintain it very well, otherwise you are going to have the explode like this. The air reserve tank can explode if the quality is not good, if the design is not good, if the maintenance is not good. That's why we have those drone vibes at the bottom of the air reserve tank. So your driver is better to release all the waste water from your tractor air compressor because your tractor air compressor would have a lot of waste oil, water, go through those broken lines, then to your air reserve tank. Here is a picture you can see more clear. This is a terminal trailer. You can see the air reserve tank there, the yellow line and red line. The nylon tube goes through the vive, then the vive have a rubber hose to the air braking chamber. Here is another picture. The red line to here and then to the uh, wives and then to the rubber hose to the braking chamber. This is a one of our engineer. Okay, here is another picture to show you. Same air reserve tank and all the lines and uh, things. Uh, this picture is same. So it's basically every trailer is like this way, like this. This is a spring brick chamber installation. We, we call it a spring brick chamber because it has big spring inside. The big spring to give you the 
parking brake function. Here is another picture. This picture is wrong because the right way is we need to use the red color between those air chambers. The red color represents the pressure is inside all the time. That's why we have this picture to show you if you can if you see any trailer factory is using the yellow nylon tube between the two air chamber, you need to be careful your braking system of the trailer. And of course they use the nylon tube for the braking hose between the air reserve tank to the air chamber. That's quite dangerous too because that's easily broken. You would pay more later. So yeah, let's sum up. So all the hoses from the braking chamber to the valves to the air reserve tank, you need to use the rubber hose. And uh, the line does not move, you can use nylon tube because nylon tube is uh, more fragile. Okay, more pictures. And uh, you can see that's why I cannot show you the whole braking system because it's going through from the front of the trailer and to the bottom. Uh, this is a picture you need to adjust uh, the braking chamber because it's uh, getting aware. If you don't adjust it, it will be aware very soon. So you can see it's uh, already not in the center. You need to move it to the center like this one. Your maintenance employee would know better than me, so you can talk with them. We have a little spring here, this spring called uh, back to the position. So whenever your slight adjuster moving, it uh, pull it back to the position it should be. You can see it's already not even. This trailer definitely needs to do the maintenance too. Very easy, you just need a spanner to do the job. But if you don't do, your trailer would face the service life shortage. Okay, this picture is better angle. You can see the whole system, like the braking chamber and the slight adjuster, leaf spring, axle, and camel shift here and the, this picture give you another angle of it this picture is to showing you the uh, top how it looks on the top the line on the top this is nothing about the braking system this is uh, electricity so does not does electricity has nothing to do with the braking system no that's what uh, we are going to talk about later it's called ABS. But before we talk ABS, let's see this picture. You can see a lot of dust and garbage inside. What it is? It is a um, flater. A flater we need to aid on our trailer to flate uh, from the front to prevent all the oil and the dust from your from your air compressor to go into the trailer braking system. It's not expensive. If uh, possible, please consider to add one in oil trailers. It costs about, I think, uh, 10 to $20 each, but it would give you a better experience when you're using your trailers. So with all the moisture and all the dust before they go into your valve, it goes to this part. So you, you can have this part broken first before you have the valve broken. So please consider that. Not all the clients understand why they need this. You can pay small money for the big money saving. This is inside the emergency valve. You can see all the dust here. We we have removed the cover of the, the emergency valve. If you have the flater in the front, you wouldn't have those uh, dust and oil here. So, yeah, that's that. What are we were talking about? Yes, this is a normal braking line. But what is ABS? The reason this one does not have ABS it is because this is working in the terminal. So it's a terminal trailer. The speed is not over 30. It's, uh, it's not over 40, let's see. Some driver drive 50, the over speed, but it's okay. It's not 100. If you're trailer goes to from cities to cities, you would need ABS. What is ABS? What does it look like? Here is ABS. The ABS 
breaking valve looks like this. It looks like the valve with an uh, electricity device on the top. And it has some uh, teeth and uh, it's a signal ring in your each axle. So the sensor could sense the axle speed of the turning ratio from the left and right, what's the difference. Then it used the monitor to monitor it, to adjust it. You can see, you can think about this as a small computer. So you have the small computer on your braking valve to adjust the, the braking system on your left and right ROM. We have the different uh, ABS, you can remember just uh, those uh, numbers like a two sensor and a one monitor or two sensor, two monitor. Or four sensor, two monitor, or four sensor, three monitor. Uh, leave the rest to the engineer uh, because it uh, not, does not uh, quite uh, easy to understand. Okay, so this is the system with the ABS. You can see a little bit uh, complicated than the system we were seeing before because it is as air compressor, uh, air pressure, and uh, electricity. So you co combine the electricity with the air pressure for your braking system. This is how it looks like uh, at the bottom. You need to have those uh, lines from your axle to your monitors to see it. Here is uh, another picture you can see. You can recognize this trailer is for the American because the braking line is using the blue, not yellow. Here is another picture to show you the ABS. Yeah, there is, of course, we have more pictures, but we won't show all of you to you today. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's our braking system of the semi-trailer. And I think uh, that's uh, everything I would like to talk today. Hope you like this video, and if you enjoy this video, please uh, subscribe and uh, press the like button. Uh, my friend told me to see this in the video, so it could help us to increase our subscribe number because we only have a few thank you very much uh, i know semi is a is a small uh, product is small is not a famous product but if you like and i would continue to do the video hope to see you guys next time and um, thanks bye